name's Matt, I'm from Brisbane, and I'd like to talk about cheap plastic kettles, like this one. Now I'm a big tea and coffee drinker, I go through five or six of these a day, and more for guests. But this story starts in 2005, when I was given this Linda kettle second hand. At the time, I think it would have been about 10 years old, and it lasted me until August in 2012. Once this kettle stopped working, I went to Kmart, I got a stainless steel Homemaker brand kettle. That kettle, after only a few weeks, didn't work. So I went back to Kmart, got my money refunded, and exchanged it for a Cambrook Lifestyle Essentials Court Free KAK95 kettle because on the, the Cambrook website and the product packaging they claim that this kettle can be boiled 3,000 times will make the equivalent of 23,000 cups of tea. I thought that was impressive. After a few weeks the Cambrook kettle started leaking water from the base. I thought this was a very dangerous fault, so I emailed Cambrook about it. They replied with a form letter initially, but to their credit, after a few more emails, they did send me a handwritten, sincere letter of apology. And I'm not being facetious or sarcastic. I really think that that's a good thing to do. Thank you very much, Cambrook. So to replace the Cambrook Court Free Essentials Lifestyle KAK95 kettle, I went back to Kmart, got another refund, and bought this, the Homemaker brand kettle, for $8. Now, the Homemaker brand kettle I've been using just as frequently as the others, and it still works, but it does have some big problems. The lid can be closed, but not locked in position. So you can pour it, and water dribbles around the edge onto your kitchen counter, maybe on your feet, and, and burns you. It hasn't happened to me, but it could very easily. Also, it seats loosely in the base. And sometimes, if you put it in at the wrong angle and turn the kettle on, you can hear a loud electrical buzzing sound from an arc inside it, and I think that is extremely dangerous. I'll be replacing this kettle as soon as possible. So whilst I don't have a specific complaint against Cambrook or Homemaker, I do think it's interesting that 17 years ago they worked out how to make a cheap, durable electric kettle. But now they're nowhere to be found. It's certainly within the realm of possibility that I just got three kettles that slipped through quality control. However, it's not a, a very reassuring experience. Um, Thank you very much for your time.